All right, let's talk grommets. I've been loving the grommets on the Breezy overalls. I got this kit from Amazon. They're 3 8 inch size, which is what I suggest in the tutorial. Here's the front piece. It's got the big taller piece. And here's the back piece. It's pretty flat. It is kind of rounded. You can see there's the right side versus the wrong side. They fit together like this, and then you'll hammer that tall side around the flat side. All right. Just for marking, personally, I just always eyeball. I line them up where I want them. I figure if my eyes think they look perfect, that is fine. If you want to be more meticulous and measure from the edges, go for it. I just mark it just like this every time. In your kit, you'll get three kind of tools. Um, and we're going to use this guy first. This is supposed to cut your hole. Now, if you're using something that frays really easily, I suggest cutting it slightly smaller than the hole that they give you. Okay. You can use this little guy and you can cut a perfect hole, the perfect size. Okay. It's got this hole that you can see into so you can perfectly line it up. Sometimes I need to use my phone flashlight to get it perfect. You can hammer it in there just like this and it will start cutting for you. Now sometimes depending on how hard you hammer it, get it to cut all the way through. Honestly it hardly ever cuts all the way through for me. You can see it's starting to here. Depending on the fabrics and everything, sometimes it almost cuts all the way through. Sometimes it's not even close. But you can see that circle perfectly. I just use sharp little scissors to cut exactly around that hole. Again, if you're using like a little, a very loosely woven fabric that frays really easily, cut it just a little bit smaller than they suggest. Just to prevent the fraying. Another thing you can do is dab a little fray check on this little tiny circle before doing the next steps as well. Now, both these pieces of fabric are interfaced. That is absolutely 100% necessary. If you do not interface, it will fray and your grommet will just pop right out of there. So don't skip the interfacing. The little front of the grommet fits right into this little tool and it will hold it nice and steady. It's a little groove to fit perfectly. As you can see, the hole fits nice and perfectly. Your kind of rounded side, there's the underside, here's the top side. So you're gonna place it right on there. And then here's your other tool, kind of looks like a crown, crayon, crown color. And then you just hammer, hammer, hammer. Everyone always says I say crown wrong. Okay, there you go. And as you can see, that little part that kind of looks like a top hat, this little part right here, gets hammered down and curls around this so that they are fit together. And there's your grommet. I did have one little fray strand here. I'm just going to trim off. But there you go. It's nice and easy. You can hammer it and hammer it and make sure it's nice and tight. I like to make sure I'm hammering from all around so I don't miss any parts. It's nice and smooth. Here we go. It looks like I missed one part. Going back for one more. Whack at it. For the breezy overalls here, I used 3 8 inch, which is what I suggest. If you have quarter inch on hand, you can get away with quarter an inch. I used a few quarter of an inch ones. It's just a little trickier feeding your strap through the quarter of an inch because the straps themselves are about a quarter of an inch. So it's a tight squeeze. Um, depending on your fabric, it's easier than other fabrics, but three eighths is where it's at. If you're ordering new ones, I hope you have fun putting them in and good luck.